In the last episode, we pretty much lost our marbles swimming with whale sharks. Click on the link on screen if you want to check it out. And I'm super pumped on this episode because we're going on a surf trip. And it's time for us to head off on another adventure. Pretty excited about this one. Uh, we've been following a storm up in the northern Pacific and it looks to be shooting some swell uh, down in our direction, which is pretty damn good. So we're gonna head off to a place called Scorpion Bay. Um, it's supposed to be a pretty magic spot. It likes a different swell direction than what we're getting, uh, but for this time of the year, it's probably about as good as it gets. So we're gonna head up there. It's about six hours drive, and we're jumping in the car now and heading off to the Scorpion Bay, mate. <laughs> While the roads out of Bahia, San Juanico can be treacherous, for serious surfers it's worth the hassle to get to the series of right point breaks with seamlessly endless waves. Right hand point breaks, seemingly endless waves. I think we're going on a surf trip. <laughs> <laughs> I'm losing it mate. I haven't been on a surf trip for bloody yonks. I can't even remember the last surf trip I went on. I've been surfing, I've been on trips, I've been surfing on trips, but I haven't been on a surf trip, a surf odyssey, a surf adventure for quite some time and this is going to be one of them. So it's time to hit the road ladies and gentlemen. The guy that just uh, took off on the motorbike, he's, he's one of the, the local uh, motorbike guides that do motorbike tours here. And he was saying this will take us into San Juanico, but it's really quite rough. Uh, there's a few sections that we might struggle with not being full drive. Um, so we're gonna have to double back and see if we can find the paved road. We found the road we were looking for without too much difficulty. And before we knew it, we were pulling into the bay and what an incredible sight it was. We arrived here at Scorpion Bay and I pretty much just jumped straight in my wetsuit and paddled out on a little foam board. Uh, it was really small but it was like surfing Byron Bay the Pass at one foot and super perfect, perfect sand, like two, three hundred metre rides. We woke early the next morning to find second point buried under a super high tide. So it was a great opportunity to surf some of the other points. So I just had a really fun surf, uh, started up at fourth point, then surfed through third and then down a second. Yeah. As a couple of hundred metres paddle between each, really long waves, uh, and finished off second point, which is where we're set up here. Uh, it was really, really fun. The swell didn't come through like I was hoping for, but uh, still really, really fun. And the place here is just so magical. After a quick feed, we were straight back out there.
Such a fun day. Surfed every board that I had here, including Courtney's. Rode like a eight, seven foot wave storm, a little five, six wave storm. Rode my normal craft. Surfed everything, surfed everywhere. Uh, this place is so fun. All right, so just up early, checking conditions this morning. Uh, the sun's just about to pop. But if you have a look, looks like there's a bit of a storm on the way, ladies and gentlemen. Time to batten down the hatches. Fortunately, it was all bark and no bite. What initially looked like a pretty serious storm front was nothing more than a little wind and a lot of mist. Once the weather cleared, we went for a walk into the village to have a look around and grab some supplies. Got the local in-store butcher, bloody perfect, eh? Marvellous. Give yourself a little bag of goodies. Doesn't get any better than that. <laughs> There's a tear in the box. It was never stable. He was what always. What are you doing? He was though? always gonna die. I put so much pressure to rescue the other fourteen. We had the van set up in a prime spot on the edge of the cliff overlooking Second Point. And that's where it stayed for five days. Eventually the weather changed, the surf dropped, the wind picked up and most of the campers disappeared. And in their place was left a whole bunch of weird red seaweed. It was time for us to start the next adventure, feeling so much richer for the amazing week we had in a dreamy location with a bunch of amazing people we just met. 
Thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed the movie, please give it a like and leave us a comment below. If you haven't already done so, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And next up, in the next episode, we are going off the beaten track exploring in Baja, so don't miss it.